All right, here we go, you guys. So I put on a sweatshirt because I wanted something that could zip up or down or you can unbutton or something. It'll just make taking your clothes off easier once you need to get in the shower. All right, so brush out your hair completely. You wanna make sure it's really free of any tangles. Notice how I didn't put any makeup on for you guys? <laughs> You're welcome. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you some, the way to apply from sort of start to finish, okay? I might just go through the motions and not actually do the thing, but nonetheless. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to apply your um, hairline cream. And you're going to, you're gonna put it on your finger, and then you're gonna kind of pull your hair back a little bit so that you get those baby hairs out of the way so you get as close to your hairline as possible. And you go right around the entire hairline, over your ears, underneath, that sort of thing. And then you can do behind your ear and then around the back. Then you go and do the same, the, the other side again, same thing, put more stuff on. If you run out of stuff because I, for whatever reason, didn't put enough in or you got too much on one side or whatever, you can use Vaseline or something like that, but you don't have to. <laughs> Hi Jess, it's okay, don't worry. Um, quarantine time, you know, we're all home. So then, after you apply that, you take your color, which is gonna be this like darker, more, um, and thicker, and your processing solution, and you're gonna put it both in the bowl, and then you're gonna stir it up really well, like I said, like a batter. Get pretty vigorous. You wanna make sure it's super smooth, like a cake batter or something. So then, you are going to, one of the important parts is that we don't want to overlap. If you do, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it, we can fix it in at your next salon visit or you might not even notice. So you take your bowl and you just put a little bit on. I'll actually show you so that you can see. It's sort of like when you're painting like a, a, a wall, you actually don't wanna douse the, um, the brush in color. You want it to sort of sit at the end of the brush, like maybe an eighth or a quarter of an inch, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? So that you're not getting it everywhere. And if you feel like it's a little sloppy when you mix it or something, just take a paper towel and wipe the thing clean or use your finger and put it in the thing because you should be wearing, oh, your gloves by now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So then what you do is you want a mirror and you need a flat surface. Clean off a table, clean off a bathroom counter, something like that so that you're able to work. You want some good light. You should have a mirror in front of you. If you wear glasses, put your glasses on because I've done it without wearing my glasses before and well, it can be a little slotchy. All right, so you start wherever your part is. Now, if you have, if your part covers maybe the grayer or more difficult part, the place that gets gray first, right? Sometimes we all, we have that, we have a certain spot. You can actually start right there because you want that to process for as long as possible. So if you see, what I do is you take your brush and then you just apply it. I'm looking in the mirror right now, right to the regrowth. So the regrowth is gonna be the stuff that looks a different color. And you're gonna be able to see it more clearly when you're actually looking in the mirror under good light. Some of you don't have a lot of gray. I know you feel like you do, so it's gonna be a smidge difficult to see. But at this point in the game, most of you I haven't seen for the last like four weeks, so there's probably not more than a quarter inch of growth. So somebody else who I haven't seen in maybe two months, there's probably a half an inch of growth. That's sort of the standard, right? but you do just have to sort of, if you feel like you can't see it very well, just take a chance and figure it out. And like I said, you're not gonna mess it up, really. I mean, you might, but I can help you fix it. It'll be fine. But it'll at least get you through this crazy, crazy pandemic thing that we're dealing with. Okay, so then you're gonna go, you're gonna take your edge, the end of your brush and part your hair. So actually you could use that instead of the um, a comb or a chopstick or a flat like a tail comb. And then you put it back in your bowl and you put it on a little bit and then you again go and you wanna do both sides. So you notice how I'm, I have a little doggy licking my leg, <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so you notice how, you, um, how I'm holding my hair down. What that does is it actually gives you a better um, 
it just makes it easier to do the application less messy and more directly where it's supposed to go. And so you wanna do both sides of the part because you wanna get it on both sides of the hair. So then you go all the way down again, right, all the way through the part and you do that until one side is covered. And you wanna go, what I would suggest is that you, once you do the front, so you wanna take a part that's from the crown of your head to the to your ear. That's the front section and then this will be the back section. So I want you to do the front and the top first. You may run out of color, it's okay, because nobody sees the back. Um, so then once you do this whole side to the ear, you wanna go into your hairline and make sure that you do it all through your hairline, right? Into your ear, pull the hair back so those baby hairs, they can get them out of the way, that sort of thing. And then you flip your hair over to wherever you started and you do the same thing, but on the other side, all right? All the way down until you get to your ear and then you again do your hairline all the way across. Now you do wanna double check your work because there might be some areas that you haven't gotten and you didn't see. So the way you do that is go instead of laterally, you go in a horizontal line, pull your hair forward, and then just double check right in here to make sure. And if there's any areas that you missed, then you can apply color. And you don't really have to add more color onto your brush when you're doing this because there probably will be plenty of color on your scalp to distribute properly. So then once you've done that side and you've cross-checked your work, you can, actually you have a clip in there too, I forgot to put that in. You'll have a clip in your kit and you can take this section and you can clip it up with a little banana clip, okay? Now the back is gonna be definitely harder than the rest, but you can take your brush, your your comb or whatever utensil you're using from the crown all the way to the back of your nape and part it. Now, if you feel like you don't wanna do all the stuff inside, you don't have to. This is really just to get us through, right? But if you wanted to, you could do your hairline in the back because if you wanted to put your hair up and you didn't want anybody to see, so then you would apply color and put it along your hairline behind your ear, right there. And then you wait for 35 minutes. If there's a different timing, I will make a note in your email because some of you have different timings. Now, you also, some of you have glosses or toners. And so if you have a gloss, so then you, after you're done, set your timer for 35 minutes. Once about 15 or 20 minutes goes through, let's say it's 15, apply your toner or your gloss. So you're gonna to wanna to apply it all the way through. The same way you wanna take, make sure your sections aren't too thick, you still have your gloves on, and you apply it all the way down through your hair. And this is when you're gonna use a comb. It's gonna get stained, so use one that you don't really care about or that you don't mind. You comb through, and then you put it out of the way. Then you take another lateral section, and you put your toner on all the way through, you comb it, and then you put it out of the way. And you do that all the way around your hair and you make sure it's fully combed and fully saturated. And once your timer goes off, you jump in the shower and you rinse your hair really, really well. It shouldn't stay in your tub or anything like that. If it does, you can put some bleach on it, some Clorox or Comet or something that'll take care of it. I have included the shampoo and conditioning sachet and then also a um, conditioning deep conditioning mask packet if you want you can use it for another time it doesn't matter you can use your own shampoo and conditioner it's totally fine don't worry you could save this for when Armageddon really actually gets here and you need shampoo and conditioner um, and if you wanted to do a mask what you would do is get out of the shower will you shampoo and condition it out like normal get out of the shower towel dry your hair really well and then apply this to your hair if you have a lot of hair, you'll probably use most of it. This is a really thick mask, it's really gorgeous. Um, if you don't have a lot of hair, you might only just use a third of it. So just know that you wanna put enough in that your hair feels fully saturated, but it's not like dripping off of your head, if that makes sense. And if you use the whole thing, that's totally okay too. Really don't worry about it. Don't let it stress you out. Um, 
So hopefully <laughs> this will work. Um, I will obviously be totally available to you should you need a walkthrough. I'm happy to do that with each and every single one of you. It would be my pleasure and I think it would be kind of fun. I would also um, encourage you to email me or text me if you have any additional questions or concerns. But other than that, um, I wish you a lot of luck and hopefully we only have to do this one time. Okay, thanks you guys, bye.